Welcome to the channel. My name is Matthias. Today we're going to talk about Marauders, issue 20, written by Jerry Dugan. So this issue revolves around Storm, and Dugan does a fantastic job showing off how much of an incredible character she is. I have to say, this is the second spotlight issue that Storm gets during the Marauders series, and they do a fantastic job. So the issue starts off with all the members of the Marauders. They're on the ship. Storm has decided that she wants to leave the team, or she needs to leave the team, but she wants to have a last dinner with her comrades. So what happens in the story is that each member of the Marauders tells a brief little story that really shows off how much of a badass Storm is as a character, and they do it in a really fantastic way. And Dugan puts a lot of focus on the fact that even though she's crazy OP, She's a force to be reckoned with, even without her powers. So Pyro starts off telling the story how Storm rescues this mutant called Lash in India. Basically, she's a slave in the shipyard. And Storm just goes to the owner of the place and tells him, Look, I'm going to take this young mutant with me. And before this guy says anything, Storm just shows off her crazy knife skills. And the dude's like, take her. I don't care, just take her. So after ending this brief story, Pyro asks Storm, how many knives do you have on you? So every member of the team tries to guess how many knives she has hidden all over her costume. And this idea is just really awesome to show off how dangerous Storm is, even without her powers. She had a pretty rough upbringing on the streets of Cairo, so... Since she was very little, she needed to know how to defend herself. In other stories, it's shown that also Storm keeps lockpicks hidden in her costume too. From back in the day when she used to be a master thief. Then we get another story where we have Bishop. He's going on a mission to Africa, having to deal with these warlords. They're not being very helpful, and there's a thunderstorm going on while he's having to deal with these guys. And we get this fantastic moment where he tells these warlords, Look, that storm up there, if you don't collaborate with me, she's going to destroy everything here. And this just scares the living shit out of these guys. But the thing is that storm wasn't present. And it's so cool because just the mere mention of her name and this bluff just made these guys change their position then we have Iceman tell this really cool story where Storm ends up crossing paths with Hatemonger he had fought against the Marauders earlier in the series the thing is without using her power she beats the living crap out of the guy to the point that Hatemonger just abandons the whole identity he doesn't want to be a supervillain anymore then the stories from Emma Frost, Kitty Pride, and Callisto really illustrate the level of honorability that Storm has and mercy towards her enemies when it's warranted. So at the end of the story, we get to see that Storm pulls out all the knives that she had hidden in her costume. And I have to say that panel is so badass. It's so well done.